the format of the robot. You know those classic Disney cartoons maybe Steamboat Willie, or perhaps Mickey in Vietnam, if you want more on that, look it up, it's a pretty interesting story itself. But there's one that nobody has ever seen, but I hand it to people, like Borks and Randy Hilson. They do a damn good job of imitating it, to clear one thing up, it's just Suicide Mouse. There is no Suicide Mouse AVI, and it's never been digitized. Continuing on skipping past nostalgia, the cartoon is supposedly Mickey walking past six buildings in a three or four minute loop, but that isn't entirely the truth, the cartoon was a test for Mortimer Mouse, Mickey's original concept. There were three other cartoons made on him, that were released for feedback before Mortimer was scrapped. This specific cartoon was only shown to one test audience, who supposedly went into paranoia, after witnessing the imagery of the cartoon, and an alarming amount committed suicide because of this, getting the film its name. Past all that bullshit rumors spread about the film shortly, before Walt scrapped Mortimer, in favor of Mickey Mouse. Suicide Mouse, starts with Mortimer happily walking down the street of a small town, with small buildings and a gravel road, with a bakery or candy store every now and then, most notably. He whistles for around a minute, before he looks down, growing a look of uncertainty, as he slows down and puts his hands in his pockets, walking for another three minutes. Then the film gets corrupted for 37 seconds. When the screen comes back, Mortimer is walking slightly faster now, with an anxious smile. The town now looks abandoned from here on, maybe 20 seconds later. He spreads a cheesy grin which was disturbing as hell, since Walt made teeth more realistic at that point, and his pupils dilate with the veins in his eyes, looking like they might explode. At around the fifth minute, he walks faster and faster, as everything began to set on fire and collapse behind him. He then lunges into a full-on sprint, as if running for his dear life, as the shadows grow around him. His eyes then fall out of his skull, bouncing like rubber balls behind him. The street begins morphing and twisting unnaturally, as Mortimer defies physics, as we know him running up the street into the sky, and down steep slopes in the twisted world, without speeding up or slowing down, and falling. He then stops looking down at the sidewalk, where a magnum lays on the ground, he then takes the gun, and cries to himself, before pulling the trigger. The film then ends with a shot of Mortimer's headless body on the ground, dead, with the quote, Hell's Gates back in the foolish. I have not checked the last 10 seconds, but from what my best friend William told me, it was just the end screen with Mortimer's corpse, waving at the viewer, so that freaked me out. Sorry if I didn't describe it well, I'm writing this in a rush, as I have to head to work in a few minutes. I hope you never have to experience what we or the test audience had to witness. Goodbye for now, Nathan out. This film while not cursed, is definitely a disturbing piece of lost media, that continues to make me question, if other Disney stories have some truth to them. We experienced some paranoia, but we got over it after a while. Whether or not you believe me, I felt like I had to tell this story. Goodbye.